Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. So in my last video, I mentioned that I've got this square body in the shop, Chevy square body, and I wasn't sure if anybody would have any interest in seeing any footage on it or not. But as it turns out, I got lots of comments back saying, yeah, I'd be very interested in seeing some stuff on it. So that's what I plan to do today. And I'll maybe touch on a couple other little things we got around the shop. I, I did a short video on this and uh, put it out maybe a week and a half ago now. But this is a one-third scale monster truck, mini monster truck. It quite literally is everything and anything the big ones are, just smaller. Smaller motor, um, lots of stuff. But it's designed to have a full adult drive it. Now, it, and it is my, uh, my buddy, my partner in the shop here. It's his and he actually used to be a professional monster truck driver in the Monster Jam series. He drove Northern Nightmare. So uh, his little guy's getting into it and this is kind of his way of, of doing so. He's rigged it up with some various bracketry off the brake and the gas. He's moved the gas pedal so his little guy can drive it because uh, his little guy wants to be like dad. So anyway, um, yeah, maybe a little bit more on that later. But let's talk about this square body that we got in here. Okay, so it's not finished, but we're getting very close to the, to the finish line. We can see it at this point. So the story on this truck is it was built by another shop, another gentleman, and essentially he's a, a, a heavy duty fabricator. Okay, so built this flat deck bed on it. And now my apologies, it's kind of a parts bench right now, but uh, don't mind the air horns. Um, but yeah, built the deck, lifted the truck, put the diffs in it. I think it's a, a Ford front diff that's in this truck. Um, lifted it up, you know, the wheels, the tires, the whatever. But then I guess where the magic happened was here. So this is a, a 1993 6BT 12 valve Cummins diesel that's been snuck under the hood of this big old beast. Um, we're just at the, the point now, I, I just did an oil change on it and uh, putting some coolant in it because it was interestingly enough missing a, a coolant line and when I went I was going to start the truck and just kind of warm up the engine but uh, and get the, the oil flowing through it but I'm like ah oh, you know what maybe I'll just check the coolant real quick and lo and behold it didn't have a bunch of coolant in the rad it was like the bottom one-tenth of the rad had coolant in it so off to the parts store go to fill it up and then when I fill it up I, I realize that there's coolant all over the ground in my shop and yeah one thing leads to another that's how these situations go right when you're building something like this but anyway so the original guy built it and it was originally built with I think it had a turbo 400 automatic transmission in it now before I got my shop, the guy that uh, owns the truck ran this out to another buddy of his to put a Get Reg 360 five speed Dodge transmission in it. Okay, now this isn't going to really show you a whole lot other than the fact that we've modified the tunnel to accept this Get Reg 360. Now, he more or less put the transmission in and put the clutch in but then the truck came if I, I don't know if he was sleeping on it or what he was doing but anyway it just wasn't getting done and the guy that owns the truck says okay you got your shop now I'm bringing this truck to you and you can finish it off so we kind of we picked up where everybody else left off this is the fella here actually Durpec investment group he runs an excavation outfit here locally so um, yeah, so anyway, we get the truck in whatever format the first two guys left it in, and we pick up the pieces. So where that left us was um, the transmission and clutch, everything there seemed to work good, needed a little fine tuning. The transfer case, this was a bit of a, an interesting dilemma. So for those of you that had horsed around with lifted trucks, the driveline angles can get a little tricky the higher up you go and in this case our front drive shaft was 
on a pretty serious angle and it was actually binding on the yoke back here and I just happened to be laying underneath the truck one day because all of this was bolted up and in here and I'm rolling the drive shaft around and all of a sudden clunk it gets stuck so got looking into it long story short we had to do what's called clock the transfer case so this transfer case being a passenger side drop we had to clock the transfer case down to correct for this yoke drive shaft angle or the yoke binding and uh, so yeah even though the transfer case was in here we had to yard it out and clock it I'll see if I can get you a view of what this clocking ring looks like well it's kind of difficult to see but the clocking ring goes between the transmission and the transfer case it's an aluminum ring that allows you to clock the transfer case down two different settings one of is a two and a half inch drop and the other one's a five inch drop so essentially all of this drops two and a half or five inches down so yeah we did that um we've kind of gone through and and rewired a lot of things in the truck there was a lot of wiring issues um none of these lights worked the cargo lights so just some fine finer tuning wiring stuff we did put a full stereo in this truck so there's uh, kick panel speakers there's speakers in the back um, it came to us with all this dynamat on it um, got a new floor for it driver side window wasn't in it we had to get a kit to uh, from LMC to, to mount that window um, the whole interior was more or less out of it um, I'll maybe bust around on the other side and show you guys the gauges in this truck so they're uh, what are they called US vintage actually they're new vintage USA pretty neat gauge kit all digital LED backlit um, they sweep and cycle and do all the neat stuff that digital gauges do um, so we rewired all of this everything behind the dash is rewired uh, we got a new beauty bezel um, factored in so there's a little intermittent push button switch here to run this deal you can monitor all kinds of different stuff from these gauges and there's one on the other side too so factored that into the the lower dash bezel uh, remounted all the gauges fuel pressure over here you got boost and pyrometer battery oil water fuel level all that good stuff um, yeah so just kind of fine-tuning everything we got lots of little stuff too a new set of rubbers for the pedals and um, we're just right now the where this truck kind of sits well still some fine tuning we had to shim the seat up because there's a sub box underneath the center of this seat so we had to shim the seat up ever so slightly to clear the the sub box all that little goofy stuff fine tuning things right and what else uh, we fabricated a gear shift handle something that kind of suits the truck and and fits this get reg uh, thread pattern but i think uh oh pardon me and then where we're left at is um transfer case linkage so this has an np205 transfer case in it and trying to find linkage that someone has laying around that's not attached to a transfer case is next to impossible at any rate i found a guy different uh like not the other side of the country but a long drive anyway he happens to have some linkage laying around we we're going to build our own but we thought it'd be better off to start with something that was designed for this dodge actually the bracket mounts to the transmission and then the linkage goes back to the transfer case from there and then we'll doctor up the transmission uh cover hump and uh give him a four high four low neutral two-wheel drive shifter okay guys and now for 
though any of you out there watching that have worked on any sort of project like this that I mean I I, I want to refer to it as custom which I guess it is right you're you're doing you're trying to trying to amalgamate different worlds together into uh, a cohesive unit right there's so many things that just silly little things that take you like eight hours to figure out and then another eight to fabricate something for it to work like for example this truck previously being an automatic transmission truck and it had an automatic column in it um, everything was set up for an automatic to be you know the park neutral safety switch that is in an automatic so you can't start an automatic while it's in gear well all of that stuff was still in here and with it being a now a manual truck the safety factor for a manual to not start in gear is a clutch safety switch and that in all I, most all vehicles is incorporated onto the the throw of the clutch pedal so if your clutch is down you can start the truck if it's not you can't right so anyway we fabricated up a bracket and funny enough reused the 78 square body um, electric kick down switch it's just this sliding switch that's on the accelerator pedal we removed that and actually reused it mounted it up on the clutch pedal shaft and when the clutch pedal is depressed it activates this switch and funny enough we were able to use the wiring from the automatic uh, harness or the automatic column harness and wire into that accelerator pedal switch which is now a clutch safety switch uh, or accelerator kick down switch pardon me which has now been turned into a clutch safety switch and it actually works as a clutch safety switch it essentially they do the same thing that park neutral safety switch and a clutch safety switch so it won't let you start the vehicle unless that vehicle is in a safe format i.e. clutch pushed in or park in neutral and uh, so yeah fabricated a bracket for that and I mean trying to make it all line up and not buy it's crazy the stupid little things that you can get buried absolutely buried in when you're working on something like this but um, our clients an absolute great guy he knows I think he's even taken various runs at figuring things out on this truck and just throws tools through the wall right it's just it's an overwhelming deal but if you got the tools and you're stubborn like me you know you won't give up you, you'll figure it out after a while so anyway that's kind of the story on the square body now it's getting ready to get out of here um, and a little teaser I want to leave you guys with um, there's a fellow that I'm dealing with in town that actually wants to do a pretty cool fox body project I've kind of hinted at this in some of my other videos uh, he wants to take it's a 88 convertible fox body and he has all the running gear from uh, I think it's a 2018 2017 2018 GT 350 so the 5.2 that like he's got it all anyway and he's talking about swapping all that into his fox so we got to find a parking spot for the mini monster truck and I'm hoping that we've got a hoist in here prior to doing all that work because I know going in with that engine is going to be a heck of a lot easier from the bottom than it will from the top we'll see how that all goes but anyway that's something that uh, I guess I'll tease you guys with that's coming up I'm pretty excited about that Fox project so I guess that's it for now guys uh, quick little story on the square body and I'm hoping to have this guy out of here in the next week or two um, and then on to the next one and like I say that should be that Mustang project uh, we've got some other neat stuff coming up too we've got some Land Cruiser stuff for any of you Toyota fans out there I'm talking old Land Cruiser stuff very cool things and yeah we'll see what else kind of wants to walk through the door so anyway guys as always thank you very much for watching I appreciate all of the love that you give this channel and me I, I still can't believe that so many of you guys enjoy listening to me ramble on about these cars and trucks and stuff but uh, it means a ton to me so thank you from the bottom of my heart I really appreciate it and uh, I'll catch you on the next one guys take care bye for now